Hello students, good day. Now for today's lecture, I'll be discussing on deviance and the theories under deviance. So I have introduced deviance in our previous discussion and actually the concepts under these slides are just a recap. So I just used the same PowerPoint presentation. However, I just edited it in order to focus on deviance. So we have to have a recap again about socialization, about norms, about conformity, because this would now supplement our understanding in deviance. So recap muna tayo, no? So there will be a refresher about what is socialization, what are norms, what is conformity, and why we have this concept of deviance. So this is a topic for the finals. And we will be looking again into the theories which I have discussed uh, just to have a recap of how deviance work now and together with the other concepts that I'll be discussing. So again, uh, deviance would now be a product of socialization. So again, what is socialization? So socialization from the second bullet form is a continuous process whereby an individual, which is us, you, acquires a personal identity. And where, where we will be acquiring this personal identity, we will be acquiring it from the identified agents of socialization. So going back to the definition, <coughs> sorry, individuals acquire a personal identity. So this is through attitude. So the way we think, our belief system, religion, uh, our values. So this would now include our mores, our belief, similar with attitude, then behavior. So when we talk about behavior, something that is expressed. The way we eat, the way we dress, the way we talk. And learn the norms, values, behavior, and social skills appropriate to his and her social position. So we have roles in the society. And with that roles, it would now indicate our position. So how is that being determined? That is through socialization. So socialization is, is near, uh, we could equate socialization as a learning process. Uh, the way we dress, how do we learn it? We acquire them from the agents of socialization, from the school, the current trend, the way we dress. So the t-shirts, the shoes, the clothes, the pants na sinusot natin would now be a product of socialization. The way we talk, why we talk uh, our ethnic languages, for instance, Ilocano. We, we, we acquired it from our family. Why do we have some slangs, di ba? Uh, nurses have the term na toxic, anyangay, what else? Uh, sup, di ba? You have their slangs, your jargons within your cliques, within your peers or friends. Makukuha din natin yan through socialization. Behavior, your behavior, the way we talk, the way your gestures, for instance, di ba? Uh, social skills, this would now include, uh, for instance, technical skills, wielding, di ba? Nakukuha natin yan sa school, in your work. Kaya nakalagay dito would now be work. We have our own skills acquired through work. And a lot of specific agents would now be, uh, specific agents would now be source of this socialization process. So again, it teaches us how to behave and act within our society. So we have our behavior within the church. We have our behavior within the school. We have a different behavior when it comes to our peers. So the process of socialization enables the individual to grow and function socially. So we gather a lot of skills, attitude, values, behavior, learnings. And because of these learnings, the things that we acquire, it will now let us as individual to grow. Socialization is vital to sex role differentiation, culture, and personality. Okay, so I have mentioned this one in our previous discussion. Now, what? why is it essential? Because we will now look why deviance exists. So again, here are your agents of socialization. I have discussed this one. Now, for the sake of review, uh, for instance, family. So we acquire the way we speak, language, the manners within our home, the way we eat. Di ba ang sabi ng mananay natin? Uh, busin mo yung kanin. Uh, dahil may madaming nagugutom, di ba? By some other household, do not have that practice. So lahat ng mga practice natin, it would now reflect from what is happening within our home, what is happening within our family. Yan. So yung notion natin ng family, hindi lang nakalimit ngayon sa tatay at nanay, di ba? We also have uh, a lot of notions of family, di ba? We have um, two fathers, di ba? Tapos we have two mothers, then tendency we have families that uh, walang hindi lumaki sa magulang in our biological parents. Uh, we grew up from other 
uh, st- from strangers, if that is the appropriate term, foster parents, no, by the way, or from the grandparents or relatives, no, yung mga auntie, uncles natin. So those are your families and we learn a lot from them. From your peer groups, for instance, the clothing, our slangs, um, the way we talk, our gestures, diba? those would now be behavior. Again, um, pag sinasabi natin behavior, this is something that we express. So the way we speak, linalabas na natin yan. What other people see. So when we talk, diba? or observe, what other people observe. So when we talk, yun, ibig sabihin, in-express na natin yung nasa loob ng utak natin. Yun yung attitude. Attitude is something that is internal, nasa utak natin yan. Pag linabas natin yan, that is now behavior. So in psychology, for instance, attitude would now be, uh, for instance, uh, let us provide an example, uh, negative example, kasi dito natin papasok. So attitude then behavior, tapos may papasok ding prejudice at discrimination. Yung prejudice, that is negative attitude. Tapos ang discrimination, that is a negative behavior. So when once I think this is we, we identify something no. Uh, let us say a common notion among Filipinos, di ba? Uh, this is not a nice thing to identify para ma-identify din natin yung problema ng ibang tao no and how to correct them. So maganda sana kung collaborative to no. So we could now identify some common stereotypes among Filipinos. Sabihin na natin OFW no. Kasi we are the third uh, largest importers of labor export no importers of labor export of labor manpower no uh, tapos pagdating sa nurses so OFWs Filipinos are OFWs is that a negative uh, attitude kung ginagawa nating stereotype no so more likely cheap labor no yan kung nasa utak mo yan automatically it is a prejudice now when you express it, linabas mo na sa utak mo yan. Kunyari may nakita kang Filipino, ah ha OFW. Udon pa na example ko no. Ah uh, ha OFW from the word itself that is already discrimination. Or another example, um uh, African Americans, diba? Uh, that would now be a best example of of uh, prejudice and discrimination and to distinguish attitude and behavior. Yun lang yung isip ko right now eh. So attitude, you think about African Americans as slaves, diba? Or <coughs> uncivilized, lalo na sa United States, diba? Uh, I'll insert Black Lives Matter, no? So, medyo mag-sociological analysis tayo, no? Which is a good thing to point out, lalo na uh, to identify the problems within our society. So, madaming negative uh, labeling ang mga blacks, no? So, I will not be mentioning it already. So, pag nasa utak mo yan, again, that is now a negative attitude, therefore, that is prejudice. Now, pag linabas mo yan, you have expressed it through words, calling him such labeling, it now becomes discrimination. Pero hindi lang sa salita ang discrimination. Kung nyari, nasa jeep ka, may pumasok na Bombay, di ba? There, may pumasok na Indian, so you have that stereotype about Indians, lumayo ka sa jeep, you have expressed it, it now becomes discrimination. So, ganun, no? So, hindi lang sa speech. Through eyes, yung eye movement nyo, yung gestures nyo, the way your body expressed, that is already discrimination. Now, why I have to mention this one? Because Davian Slater has something to do with negative attitude and negative behavior. Yan, peer groups. Your schools, ang dami din natin natutunan dyan, di ba? So, yung skills, uh, your classmates, di ba? So, you're not a Louisian for nothing. Going back from our uh, definition of socialization, di ba? It provides us a personal identity. So, from the agent of socialization, you will now distinguish a Louisian being a Yusian, being a Tatinian from a Lasallian. You know. The church, no belief system, diba? So, the church provides a lot of sources. So, this would now include, kunyari, Islam. Because Islam, uh, but basically all religious, no? Uh, religions. Islam provided a lot of uh, ways on how their followers should, 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 should behave. So the way they eat, the way they dress, may identify naman natin, di ba, from the speaking, di ba, dominantly ano. For the Roman Catholics, more likely, they do not require their members to speak in Latin. Roman Catholic kasi Roman, di ba, Latin is the, uh, one of the language of the church, of the Catholic Church. Kung Greek Orthodoxy ka, would now be Greek, di ba. For Muslims, they are required to learn the Quran kasi yung libro na Quran, uh, is only written in the Arabic scripture, in the Arabic language. Now, when we talk about, uh, kunyari yung Quran kasi, 
um, um, yes, the Quran has been translated, no? Pero when we read in actuality yung Quran doing worship, for instance, kailangan naka-Arabic yan. Uh, yung ang rationale kasi ng mga Muslims dito, uh, Muslim clerics, or even the Muslims in nature, is that it 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 ensures the message that has been written during that time uh, when the Quran has been written, di ba? Uh, some would say it's the Prophet Muhammad, di ba? So, yun, no? Et cetera. Mass media, di ba? Right now, social media, televisions, your computer, dami nating nakukuhang knowledge dyan, attitudes, di ba? And even your your pop cultures, di ba? From your memes, et cetera. Yan. And, as, and lastly, would now be work. So from the school itself, diba, you're nagka-craft na ng mga professions. So being an engineer, your case, so engineers would now be having their own jargons, their own way of clothing, diba, from their way of thinking, diba, through the skills from a political scientist. Ibang isang philosophy major, tapos pag nagtrabaho na siya sa, kunyari, sa seminary or from the academy, iba din yung kultura ng ating mga nurses. So speaking about culture, culture is one product of socialization. Yeah, socialization is vital to the following. Okay, so ito din yung agents of socialization, I have included this one. Now again, anong kinalaman nito sa deviants? First things first, this is just a review. Now kinalaman siya sa deviants because tendency, it would now contradict the values, attitude, and behavior that has been provided by the following agents. Now, please take note, this is you in the center point. You are being influences, influenced by these agents. This would now be the source of your behavior, of your attitude, diba? of your values. Now, once you have contradicted this one, and tendency magko-contradicting yan, because, uh, tanda natin na, ma- you are still, we are rational beings, tapos hindi tayo nakakontrol, and as well, nag, nagda-diverse because of multiple influences by these agents. So, nagkakaroon ng uniqueness, nagiging homogeneous ang isang tao. So, instead na the society becomes heterogenic, na, na nagiging, uh, instead na nagiging homogenic, by the way, na nagiging diverse yung society natin, rather nagiging uniform pala sorry so nagiging uniform yung society natin mas nagiging diverse kasi nga madami naging influence sa atin yun yung nagiging concept dito at doon papasok yung deviants okay uh, another term no uh, be- before discussing about deviants are norms or norm norms are rules that govern our lives and values expectation rules of behavior so simply uh, mas madaling maintindihan ng norm sa second bullet form so, norms are just socially accepted and shared behavior. Socially accepted, sinong kasama mong nag-accept, it would now be the community or the group. Or in this in this case, it would now be the society. And shared behavior. As long as you do the same behavior within the group, within the society, that is considered to be a norms. Now, later, anong opposite ng norm? Ito ngayon, papasok yung deviance. Now, norm is basically the product. And later, conformity is sort of like, this is my own assumption, pamadali analysis natin. Conformity later is a product and a process. So, ito yung norms, no? So, example of norm violation. Once you violate the norm, it now becomes a deviant activity, a deviant behavior. So, kunyari, walk around the mall with an open umbrella. Diba? Papasok ka sa mall na may open umbrella, that is considered to be a deviant behavior. Talking to yourself in public, diba? So, maglalakad ka sa session, tapos nagsasalita kang mag-isa. Doing like that. So, that is considered to be deviant. Driving in the wrong side, that is again a norm violation. So, look ah, uh, determinant natin paano natin malalaman na kasi yung definition ng norm is behavior. We look into verbs, di ba? Yan, driving on the wrong side, say goodbye when you answer the phone. Di ba? Pang sasabi yung abnoy, no? And that is actually deviance, no? Have an animated conversation with yourself in public. You do like something like that. Just like what I'm doing right now. I'm talking all, all by myself. Talk to strangers. Especially on the females. Kung lalaki ka, you just talk with the females, di ba? So, principle ng, courtes- ng being courteous, di ba? Uh, gender segregation ba yung term dyan, no? Again, sino magdidikta? By the way, talking to stranger, is it wrong? Yes, pero paano na determine na mali siya? Because it has been determined by the society. Now, when we cluster what is the society, pwede natin ipasok to, di ba? 
it has been determined by the society, di ba? And when we look into the units of the society by agents of socialization, sino nagdetermine na mali? Family, school, church, peer groups, workplace, and mass media. Yan. Eat soup with a fork. <laughs> so these are just norm violations. Now the process, in order to achieve yung norm na yan, or yung social norm, yung technical aspect, is conformity. Conformity is a behavior that is same as the behavior of most other people in a society group. The process of conformity attempts to change the individual's behavior because to conform to the social norm. Yan. Now let's go back to those agents of socialization. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Now, okay. Now, all the values, attitude, behavior will be coming from these agents. So, they are the source. Now, they will now influence you. Ang tawag natin dyan is socialized, di ba? Socialization. Now, the process through socialization, now, yung individual self, itong unit, tayo, we are slowly confirming. Yan. So, wala kasing arrow. I usually use this in my lectures. It's a blackboard. Lalagyan natin ng arrow. Yung arrow dun sa agents of socialization towards you is now conformity. Yan. Pasensya na may ngayong aso. The background would now be the dogs barking. Yan. Conformity. So we have the following conformity. Uh, is it relevant? Ah, oh, sige. Discuss ko na kasi relevant siya. No? And review natin. No? So there are different types. So I just provided some uh, types no, according to Kalman. Padaming actually concepts, theories under conformity. Ma'am provided some. No? Uh, please take note, just read on the works of Ma'am Naha. No? I just provided some just to supplement your ideas natin. So, first is compliance. Why do we need to confirm? Why do we need to follow yung mga agents, yung mga socialization natin? No? So, why do we need to follow the government? O nga, no? Bakit walang government dito, no? Pwede natin ilagay dyan yung government as an agent. Although, hindi siya identified in, 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 in the classical literatures, no? So, when it comes to compliance or group acceptance, we confirm kasi may reward. This is reinforcement theory as well in, in, in sociology and in psychology, no? In political science, this is related to rational choice theory. So, yung behavior natin, or rather, man behavior, uh, the individual as man uh, our behavior is based on our self-interest so self-interest our choices uh, our goals in life uh, our needs our necessities so something that is positive Kung pos positive sa atin yan and that is under rational choice theory that is similar with kelman's idea of compliance so, bakit tayo nagko-confirm? Because we need, there is an expectation of a specific reward. Kung susundan ko yung batas traffic ko, ano yung reward? Hindi ako makukulong. I will enjoy my liberty. And avoid specific punishment. Now, sino magde-determine nito? Ito ngayon, yung society. Yung sa, I, sa theory na institutionalism, uh, uh, yung pala hindi kayo na-introduce ng institutionalism. Or sabihin na natin ganito, no? Sino magde-determine nito? It will now be the institutions, the society, the structures. In this case, na pwede nating mailapit, will now be the agents of socialization. So, for instance, the government is going back dun sa analogy natin, sa example natin sa, sa traffic lights. Kung hindi mo siya sinundan, ano yung punishment? Nakadictate na yan dun sa pag-socialize ng government sa individual. Makukulong ka, mape-penalty ka. Or for instance, sabi na natin sa family kasi maglimit mo na tayo dito sa agents of socialization, di ba? So kung sinundan mo yung utos ni nanay mo na maghugas ng pinggan, ano yung magiging reward? Bigyan ko kunya ng piso. Or you're pleasing your mother kasi you have another expectation na baka mag matutuwa si mother mo, di ba? Or and or pala no, avoid specific punishment. Punishment masigawan ka, di ba? Papalayasin ka, di ba? Ganun yung compliance. Internalization is an individual adapts the induced behavior because it is congruent or consistent with his value system. So for instance, tandaan natin dito, okay, this is the whole structure and this is the agent which is you. I'm using a structure and agent analysis. So yung structure is like we associate it, for instance, the government, your family, the school, the church, di ba? Similar din yan sa agents, no? So, yun yung structure. And within the structure, sabi mo na pa siyang triangle, 
may mga subunits and we call it as agents. So this is you, this is us, no. So sinasabi ng structure is ganito, kailangan sundan mo siya. So yan, no, genuine acceptance of group norms. Congruent, consistent with his value system. Now going back dun sa structure analogy ko. Kung sasabi ng structure at you as yung agent, you think na uy consistent nung sinasabi ng simbahan dun sa paniniwala ko. So that is internalization. So for instance, yung mga Roman um uh, yung mag-example ng religion. But sabi na natin in a certain religion, 'di ba? Ah, uh, kung sin anong sinasabi ng ng simbahan and more likely you adhere to that because it 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 is consistent with your personal value system. Mag uh, you will be a member, no? You will be a member of that religion. Yan. Tapos ngayon, pag hindi nagiging consistent, it now becomes deviance. So yun example natin, no? Or for instance, will now be the government. May ngayon aso, but I hope na kilabo yung sa audio natin. No? Or for instance, yung sa government natin. Okay, so when we talk about our government, no, as the structure and you as individuals, so tendency there would be differences between value system. At may mga similarities between the value system ng structure ng government and the value system of you as an individual. Kung nagiging consistent yan, you're confirming now to the system. Kaya ang tawag natin dyan is internalization. If there are uh, conflicts, tendency, pwede kang maging deviant. No? Yan. Uh, I hope na-gets nyo. So, naging consistent yung, yung value system mo at yung value system ng government. Now, take note. No? sa natin nakukuha yung sarili nating value system? We could now I get this from other structures. Yan. So, for instance, going to religion and magiging product na to ng deviance, di ba? Going into religion, hindi lang naman solely or your belief system, no? Bakit kunyari, ibang tao nagiging atheist sila, di ba? Yung atheist is an example of deviant activity. Uh, deviance, no? So, paano sila nagiging atheist? They could now gather it from other structures. So, pwede from other religions, So, nagkaroon ng exposure yung isang tao from different religions. Tapos, in-internalize in niya. From the term internalize. So, more likely, yung naging synthesis niya is walang perfect na religion. Kaya, nagiging atheist siya. Or not just within within religion. Pwede din from other structures, especially schools. ba? Diba? Uh, when we look into schools kasi, uh, sabi nga nila, universities... Uh, as a gateway for atheism no kasi tumataas yung liberal thinking mo you begin to question things such as god religion diba so yun no so nagiging you go out to the structure okay and dami ko nang sinasabi no may ingay yung aso then lastly is uh, next is identification no so you want to join a group or rather conformity in identification basically presents that an individual accepts influence because he or she wants to establish or maintain satisfying self-defining relationship to another person or group. So this is now, you confirm to the system because you want to be a part of that group. And being part of that group, one product of it, which we aim, is now to have that identity. Saan yung definition na yun kanina? Maingay yung aso. Yun, personal identity from socialization. Yan. So, an example of this would now be nurses, police officers, or gangs, di ba? Although, hindi na uso sa generation ngayon, no? Being a bahala na, or fraternities, beta sigma, di ba? Or from associations, di ba? Barangay Tanod Association. Yan. So, these are now identification, no? So, but, but, but basically, no, identification starts uh, since birth. No? Yung naalala nyo yung acquired and achieved status natin. No? Yung male, female, your race, etc. Yan. There are some individuals, di ba? For instance, a white wants to become a black. So, lagi siya nagpapatan. That is again, conforming to certain group. Kasi he belongs to a black neighborhood, a black community. <laughs> Yan, dami ko na sinasabi. Ingresational, this is when a person confirms to impress, gain favor, acceptance from other people. This is similar with identification. Yung example ko kanina. Okay, so for instance, this uh, for example in ingresational, would now be yung Dutch na who live in Mountain Province. I forgot his name, di ba? Uh, he began to, he's a Dutch. So in terms of the skin color, obvious na deviant siya. <laughs> Kasi, di ba, he's, he's different eh. Uh, looking into the skin alone, you're not one of us. But you could now be accepted in our community 
by impressing the community on confirming, quote and quote, you know, term, confirming on such behavior. So, for instance, the clothing, yung Dutch na na, na nagsusot ng ng g-string, di ba? Tapos he learned the language that is again confirming. This is to impress and later gain favor from the people that he wanted to be part of. So, nagko-confirm siya. So, yun yung ano, di ba? Or sa school, di ba? You want you want to become you want to be part of us so you have to prove yourself so joining in your squads diba yung mat, dan ano tag doon diba cheerleading yung mat, dance club natin no so yan so you have to confirm you have to learn yung mga kailangan etc this is now papasok yung deviance okay so na discuss natin is socialization na discuss natin yung conformity and yung norms and again this is just a review dito na papasok yung term na social deviance Non-conformity of an individual would mean deviation from acceptable social norm. Yan. So, napapasok na dito yung conformity na term. Yung socialization, papasok dito sa conformity at sa social norm. Deviance describes an action or behavior that violates social norms. May just check pala, no? Kung nabe-record siya. Just to be sure. Yan. So, 26. I'm using active presenter, by the way. Yan. Uh, when I'm using... Zoom, ang problema kasi sa Zoom would now be the quality of the video. Uh, no problema ko, hindi ko siya ma-minimize. So, I hope you will not be uh, bothered by this one. Okay. So, going back. So, deviants describe an action or behavior that violates social norms, including a formally enacted rule. So, formally enacted rule would now be law, as well as informal violations of social norms. So, there are two ways. Formal, so, this has been dictated by an institution, by the structure. An informal variation of social norms would now be yung mores or norms coming from the, from the community. So, this would now be customs or traditions. Deviance can range from something minor such as traffic violation to something major such as murder. Now, who could now identify kung minor siya or major? It would now be the institutions. Ang um, hirap i-distinguish kasi baka malito tayo. Ano nga ba yung structure? Ano nga ba yung institution? Uh, sabihin na natin yung structure is quite broad. But it will be defined from the succeeding from the succeeding lectures, no? yung kay ma'am, yung institutions and your structures. So government could now determine yung pagiging minor ng isang deviant activity at yung pagiging major ng isang activity. Ronald Smith and Frederick Preston outlined some functions which Deviance performs to support the social system in the following. Deviance serves as an outlet for diverse forms of expression. In the discussion on culture, diba, uh, more likely culture is heterogenic. Uh, diverse yung culture natin. Kasi madaming influencer din, madaming agents dun sa, when we look into socialization, and daming sources, no? So, hindi lang magagaling sa China. When we look into ethnicity and race, no, hindi lang magagaling sa China, hindi lang magagaling sa Japan, madami, no? So, it's become a diverse expression. So, then, papasok yung deviants. Uh, these are also purpose, by the way. Ah. So, nakaluka, some function, no? Deviants serve to define the limits of acceptable behavior. Something that is acceptable is not sometimes, or rather, it's... Uh, it is sometimes not right. Kung tama yung construction ng sentences ko, no? Yan. So, it provides limits to acceptable behavior. Yan, lumalabas na naman tong window. Deviants may also promote in-group solidarity. Ano ibig sabihin nito na? This came from Henry Tafjell. Henry Tafjell provided two concepts. In-group, then out-group. Para ma-analyze natin, ano nga ba itong in-group, then out-group. Pag sinasabi natin in-group, kasi... Uh, before inserting in-group then out-group solidarity uh, when we are we as members of the society we, we label ourselves with, within groups, social groups an example of social group will now be uh, gender so gender will be now be male and female so for instance I am the one who is speaking ano yung pagka-label nyo sa akin in terms of gender I am a male so in terms of in-group solidarity uh, all males will now group together kasi may may common may commonalities. So for instance, lahat kami lalaki. So we group ourselves because we are males, so then papasok you in group. And what we perceive the opposite gender, females, sila yung out group. 
So sila yung kalaban namin. <laughs> kung tama yung uh, kung tama yung term ko, in group then out group. Kung babae ka, tapos you form groups as females. So in group kayo. Tapos yung tingin niyo sa lalaki would not be out group. Or for instance, all of us are Louisians. So Louisians, lahat tayo in group magkakasama tayo. And we perceive the other schools, other universities, Ateneo ganun as out group. In terms of profession, lahat kami ng pol sign magkakasama in group. Na lahat kayo naman engineering magkakasama out group. Ah, uh, out group sa paningin namin sa inyo nagsama kayo in group tapos out group yan no. From ethnicity, lahat ng types of groupings, ethnicity, even age, young and old, 'di ba? Mga generations natin from your community, kung saan ka nakatira, taga Baguio ka, taga Manila, uh, what else? From those who are pro RH bill, anti RH bill, 'di ba? Yung mga uh, uh, rock, yung mga genre natin, yung mga pop cultures natin. So, ganun yung pag-context dito, no? So, bakit nga ba may in-group, out-group? Pinapromote yan ng Deviance, no? So, it provides already a label. Just like yung yin-yang, di ba? So, kung walang bipolarity, kung walang difference, parang ang boring ng buhay, di ba? Just like life and date, death, di ba? Kung walang death, it would not provide, it would not possibly provide a meaning in life. Kasi walang opposite eh, di ba? Deviance can serve as a barometer for social strain. I'll explain this further kasi may pumasok na strain and we'll be looking to strain theory ni Robert Merton. Okay, yung sinasabi ko kaninang functions actually also supports, uh, this is an, uh, also is related with the theory of Emil Durkheim, yung functionalist theory, di ba? Yung idea ni Durkheim, di ba, sinasabi niya that everything has a function. Yeah. So he anal he uh, he analyzed the society like an organism. So when we talk about organism, uh yung organism niyan may mga organs. So yung heart, yung puso, etc. Ganun ang society. That society has organs in the form of structures. At kung may and all of those stu- structures kailangan may certain functions para magkaroon ng para mabuhay yung society. Emil Durkheim term it as equilibrium. Yan. So just like the body, kung nagpalpak yung puso, nagkakaroon ng dysfunction. So in the society, yung isang structure kung pumalpak siya, more likely nagkakaroon ng ng dysfunction, na nagkakagulo yung society. But that is the case of the structural functionalist theory. Yan. Now punta tayo sa deviance, no. Deviance is actually a function. At may function siya. Ito yung pinovide ng function ng deviance. Four important functions. I provided two. I forgot. Pero ituloy na lang natin. Deviance affirms cultural values and norms. Yan. Di ba? Kung may opposite, kung may puti, may itim, kaya nagpo-provide ng kulay. Any definition of virtue rests on an opposing idea of vice. There can be no good without evil and no justice without crime. So binibigyan niya ng kulay yung society. Deviance defines moral boundaries. People learn right from wrong by defining people as deviant. Yan. Di ba? Strain theory. Now, this is no uh, something uh, a theory more on application. No, this has been used by criminology students, and they have learned it. So, major my specific, uh, uh, not basically a specific subject. My specific application on strain theory in criminology. Robert Merton, the proponent of the strain theory, argued that in an unequal society, the tension or strain between socially approved goals and an individual's ability to meet those goals through socially approved means will lead to deviance. Individuals reject either the goals, the means, or both. Ayan, naglulokan na yung aking computer. But regardless to say, hindi natin siya mag even if I define this one, Uh, no na discuss ko din to ay alam ko nag nalilito kayo now let's go to this diagram that would now let us that would now lead us to understand the strain theory of Robert Merton now ano big sabihin dito ni Merton now there are two aspects the cultural goal more likely this is you yung mga personal value system natin pero hindi lang personal so medyo micro siya but it also pang midway na mababa. So this would now be community or your small groups, no. But sabihin na natin ito yung individual, tayo. May kanya-kanya tayong value system. Now itong institutionalized means just to um analyze it to provide an analogy. Ito yung ating structure, yung agents of socialization or yung structures natin katulad ng government, kaya institution, 'di ba? Okay. Sabihin na natin government. Now the government is now 
the one of who will now determine ano yung ano yung society. Yan yung government, di ba? Yan yung institution. So, uh, to determine the society, the government will now produce something such as law. Kaya law, pag narinig nyo law, it is already a byproduct of the institution. Or law itself is an institution. Yan. So, in a structural point of view, dinedetermine yan lahat nung nasa loob ng society. Yun yung law or yung government. Now, siyempre, yung batas na yan, depende na yan sa individual looking into your cultural goal, look into the arrow, kung susundan niya o hindi. So, para nagkakaroon ng conflict between the macro level, yung structure, institution, or yung agents of socialization natin, tapos yung mga nasa micro. So, this would now include us, some group of people, yan, your com small community families, etc. Now, paano ito? Now, when you look into this one, so I hope, I'll be attaching the PowerPoint, no? So, we have certain examples. I-coconnect natin yun dito. Okay. So, one important example, or one example that is so important in the society, as individuals, as human beings, is income. Ano nga ba yung income? Paano tayo kumita? Di ba? Kikita tayo, uh, pagkita natin, we could now get yung mga needs at necessities natin. Okay. The government stated ways na paano tayo kumita. Legal ways. Okay. Now, paano siya naging institutionalized? Now, the government provides what is wrong and right, di ba? Wrong, wrong, eh, provides wrong and right, di ba? Through laws. Yan. Yun yung pinovide ng government. Ano yung tama at mali? And it is reflected through laws. Uh, bakit nga ba niya na-determine yan? Bakit niya na-crafted? It, because it has been indicated by the society. Yan. Basta na, pinovide niya kung ano yung tama at mali through laws. That is institutional means. Now, if your value system as an individual cultural goals adhere or naging consistent siya, rather, yung value system mo consistent siya dun sa sinasabi ng institution, sinasabi ng batas. So, pagdating sa example ng income, okay, para, mag uh, para magkaroon ka ng income, magtrabaho ka ng tama. You now confirm to the society, to both institution and your goals. So, you confirm with the society. Kasi yung value system mo na, yes, magtrabaho ako, Kasi it is consistent with my value system in, and in the laws, so that is conformity. Now, paano pag ganito? Ayaw mo magtrabaho kasi nasa value system mo yan, kasi tinatamad ka. Yan, may kanya-kanya. Yan, dito napapasok yung, ano natin, yung individual mindset natin. Dahil tinatamad ka or nagiging alipin lang tayo ng society. No? Pero you have to work because that is the system. So more likely, nagiging ritual lang siya, nagiging routine siya. So, wala ka ng motivation dito. You don't have the motivation. You don't have the goals. Yet, you just work in order to survive. Ang tawag nga natin sa ritualism is survivalism. Yan. Survivalism. So, you is basically ritualism. And I'll provide some examples later. So, again dito, consistent. Yung value system mo, consistent din sinasabi na institution confirm. Dito medyo, nag, na, hindi na siya nagiging consistent. So, you reject now what has been stated by the institution. It now becomes ritual. Now, ano itong innovation? Okay. Because as human beings, it is our nature that we need income. Because we know its power that it could now provide our needs. So, gusto mo ng pera. You wanted income. Pero you rejected now the institutional means. May sinasabi yung batas na pwede kang gumawa ng income but there are certain things that you must not do. So you now innovate. So more likely this is another way to present deviance, innovation. So an example of this is committing a crime. Kumikita ka. That is within your cultural goals. Yes, kumikita ako. That is in with your value system. But you now reject what has been indicated by the society. It now becomes innovation, doing crime. I hope medyo na-gets. Itong retweetism is totally wala kang pakialam. Totally, you don't want to work and you don't believe on what the society has been indicating. You know, retweet. I get rid of this one. I'll become unemployed. Bahala na. Yan. So, yun yung institution. Then, if you want to change the whole new system and the new means, it now becomes rebellion. So, an example of this one would now be you don't want to work and you don't believe on the institutional means, eh, pwede siyang retweetism yung sa sinabi kong state. But if you want to change the whole system, yan, magiging rebellion siya. 
uh, ano bang example dito? Changing the system from 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 capitalism kasi yun yung dinidikta ng capitalism magtrabaho ka para uh, ma-provide mo yung needs mo. You change it to capitalism to not basically communism kasi yun magtatrabaho ka pa yun sa communism. A uh, welfare system, yan, kuno ya ganyan no? Or ganito another example. Um there are some certain situations tapos i-identify mo kung under conformity siya, innovation, ritualism, retreatism or rebellion. Now, for instance, political means. Okay. Ano big sabi ng political means? If you support the government, it's conformity. Kasi consistent yung value system ng government at yung at yung ideas. Now dito, paano nga bang pwedeng example natin pagdating sa government? You accept the institutional means. So you believe in ah uh, or tama ba? Mali, uh, ganito na lang, okay. You re- ayaw mo yung government. Ayaw na ayaw mo yung government kasi kunyari you hate what is happening right now. Oh, tama. Ayaw naman talaga natin. <laughs> you hate what is happening right now, but ano nga ba magagawa natin? You just accept. So, nakain ka na ng sistema. Ano bang mas appropriate term doon? Nakain na lang ng sistema. That is again ritualism. Hmm, uh, ayaw mo ayaw, ayaw mo na yung nangyayari sa sistema eh. Pero, pero uh, you na-recognize mo na wala ka na magagawa. Ayan, okay na yan. What, the, what happened? Hello guys. Uh, sorry, medyo naglag. So, medyo nagulo na. So, I have to cut yung part na medyo naglag yung otak ko. No? So, going dito sa innovation. Possibly, pwede dito sa innovation would now be rally. Although, it depends on the situation. So, paano naging rally? So, under rally, pwede siyang uh, you reject the authority. You reject the authority but you accept uh, being political. So, one way of being political is joining rallies. no? Or through elections because you hated, you want to change the system. Pero pwede din dito sa rebellion. So, pwede under innovation siya. So, rally again, no? paano siya naging innovation? Possibly, possibly is is you reject the government, yes, but you still accept the process within the government. So, naging innovation siya. Under retweetism, pwede din rally dito, but I believe this is more on being politically apathetic. Ang ibig sabihin ng politically apathetic, uh, politics is not consistent on your personal values so nandito sa subject and totally you don't like the government so nagiging retweetism siya if you want to change the whole system just like the communist party and the national people's army dito na siya sa rebellion so i hope medyo naging organized yung sabi, pagsabi ko dito no yan so i think this is under merton yan. so control theory uh, assume that the family schools and other social institutions can greatly contribute to social order by controlling deviant tendencies in very individual in very individual may losing may may na lose na na word dito no so control theory is basically in order to prevent or avoid deviant behaviors is kailangan na control siya ng mga agents of societies ng institution and your structures yan is from your family from your schools and other social institutions diba especially religion diba sinasabi niya this is the way you dress kung hindi mo to i-dress you will be labeled as you will be uh uh tawag ito address as blasphemous diba yan control theory developed when norms emerge to deter deviant behavior ito yung sinasabi ko kanina without this control deviant behavior would happen more often this lead to conformity and groups yan so within the family diba so dito din papasok yung reinforcement theory na reward and punishment diba we control things no uh, how do we control things by enforcing a reward or enforcing some sanctions or punishment dito sa conflict theory medyo marks dito states that society or an organization function so that each individual participants and its group struggle to maximize their benefit which inevitably contributes to social change such as political changes and revolution Ang uh, daming sinasabi dito sa conflict theory. Pero to provide us a gist under conflict theory, um, the system has been determined by those who are in the upper class. Etong upper class na to, economically speaking, yung mayaman natin, yung mga i- Marx term them as the bourgeoisie, as dahil sila yung mayaman, thus they sila yung may control ng society. So they hold the mode, uh, the means of production. Now uh, they will now also determine yung norm. 
So lahat nyo nasa baba should confirm to what has been determined by your bourgeoisie. You have also social control. Very similar actually dun sa, ito yung sinabi ko kanina. Hindi na natin masabi. And I believe I have stated this one but just for the sake of review uh, and compliance na din. Informal consequence, no? So they are unofficial. Paano natin na-determine kung unofficial siya? Walang written context such as law or codes, no? Often casual pressure to confirm. So this is more likely mac micro level or nasa community societal level lang siya. My own opinion lang naman. Bakit? Smile, kiss, affirmation, or words of approval. Yan. So these are example of the rewards when we talk about informal consequences. Or basically yung freedom mo. Negative informal consequences, di ba? Pwede kang kapahi, kakahiyan, tatawanan ka, di ba? Yung sinabi ko kanina, pag nagsasalita ka mag-isa sa session, you will be ridiculed. Ostracism, rejection. Di ba? Yung sa discrimination kanina, di ba? So lahat kayo puti. Lahat ka, kunya, all of you are Filipinos, tapos may isang foreigner papasok dyan. Tapos you know, yung mga labeling natin, di ba? May daming labeling, kaya medyo lumalayo. So that is rejection or even expulsion. Yan. Expulsion. Uh, wala, wala. Then formal consequences, no? So formal consequences, this is now institutionalized. Usually they are through laws, de ba? Through codes, yung mga orders, memorandum. To confirm and penalties for deviance. These are needed in large complex societies. So this is more likely micro, informal, and this is more likely macro. The criminal justice system is the most important and visible institution of social control. So dito na papasok yung mga criminology natin. So, sanctions or consequences may take in form of arrest, pre-trial, sentencing, and imprisonment. So, I hope that ends my discussion. And it's 48 minutes. <laughs> uh, may edit edit ako pa may wasa. So, thank you guys. Uh, and I hope may mga natutunan tayo.